The health minister has written to His Excellency the President to stop the commissioning of the 275 uh, consequences ambulances. Now, according to the Minister of Health, Kukwajima Menu, he has listened to the plea of the management of the National Ambulance Service and thinks the commissioning should not come off on January 6th. Now, in a letter to the President, Mr. Jimameno asked that the National Ambulance Service said that he should see to the postponement of the commissioning. A letter signed by the Minister said he wants to add his voice to the plea to enable the right thing to be done. Now, we, we want to find out exactly what this really means uh, and some details. Professor Ahmed Zakaria, who is the uh, direct, director of the National Ambulance Service, join me on the telephone uh, for some more clarity on this. Professor, I thank you for time uh, this evening, if you can hear me. First of all, what, what does this me, uh, letter by the minister saying that he wants the right thing to be done after you pleaded that the commissioning should not come off me? Um, th thank you for having me. Normally, with the commissioning of the ambulances and distribution to the various consequences means that the vehicles are ready to start operation. And for tests to happen, a lot of systems need to be put in place. Currently, as you observe, a lot is happening with the ambulances, i.e. labeling of the consequences, registration of the vehicles, insurance for the vehicles, tracking systems being installed, and the most important component is the user training. And obviously, almost all these are not completed yet. And because these vehicles are going to the interland, if they go, they will have to be brought back for this to be, to be uh, completed. And definitely it's not advisable. Even if the thing had happened, that would have been easier for us to send the vehicles down. The manufacturers who are not in the country are supposed to come and do the user training. And the user training has two components. Training people on how to use the equipment on the ambulances. Because mind you, this is, uh, these are ambulances that are well equipped, state-of-the-art ambulances, with some new equipment that these paramedics are not used to. And in medical parlance, there is this philosophy that do no harm. And so if you are giving the vehicles to them without them knowing how the equipment are used, they are likely to cause more harm than good. So the manufacturers have recommended that they want to take the training before they release the vehicle. We had thought that they would have been able to come before the end of the year so that they would have done the training before the 6th of uh, January. But because of the holiday season, they had their own program. And the officers, they had details to travel to Ghana to do the training, will not do that. And they have rather given a different date, which is beyond the 6th of January. And therefore, if you look at all this and put all the activities that are ongoing, it is very recommended that we should do the training, get everything done before we can start using the vehicles. Because the vehicles is not just the ambulance, it's a whole uh, system. Uh, and if uh, we don't really put the systems in place, I bet you the vehicles will go there and will have problems uh, in a very short time. I, I see. In so September, so for how long are these ambulances going to be parked there? When, when is this training going to take place from the new dates that you have now? Pardon? I'm asking when the new date for the training is, because you so just said that... From January is the new recommended date. And between now and the 28th of January, about four different activities are concurrently taking place. One is the tracking system being installed. The second is the, uh, the PDI, what we call post delivery inspection, which is done by Silver Star. The third one is um, the training that we are waiting for. And the date we have got from the manufacturer is um, the week of 13th um, January and 20th January. But, Professor Zakaria, I mean, these ambulances have been packed there for only God knows how long. Now, as a result of pressure from both the media and the public, because there are people out there who need these ambulances. The president commits at a meeting with the press that by January this year, these ambulances will be deployed. We knew that people will need training to be able to man these ambulances. We waited 
up until a time where we're getting to the festive season, the trainers are not able to come, and then we have to postpone it again. Why do we do this? Uh, let me explain. You know, we have a lot of industry players involved in this whole exercise. We have the manufacturers who have their roadmap in terms of manufacturing, shipping, then the suppliers clearing, a program to come down and do the screening. So you realize that all these people have their own programs. And if everything had gone according to plan, by now we'll have done everything and the vehicles commissioned. But you know, sometimes man proposes and God disposes. No, and no, uh, along but, the line, Zakaria, respectfully, with, we're not with, with all humility, Prof. Zakaria, Zakaria, this is not about God disposing. We, we knew what the plan is. We knew the timing. These ambulances have been there, with all due respect. And we knew that they needed training to man this. The training of the people to man the ambulances did not have to come at a time when we were installing this. It could have been actually planned earlier than now. So God did not dispose anything. I'm sure you agree. Um, I agree with you, and we all agree, because the expectations are high, and we are even more eager than any other body. But you realize that, like I did explain, if you have a procurement process, in the contract, there are certain agreements, there are certain um, roadmaps, and there are certain deadlines. And sometimes you have control over some aspects, others you don't have. And the reality is that the manufacturers have their own program, and we don't have complete influence as to when they should come down. We only request, and then they respond. And then we work with the date they send us. Okay, so after 28th, that's when the training will take place. So we do not know exactly when these ambulances will be deployed. No, it's the 28th that we have given. I see. All activities are supposed to take place between now and the, and 28th. the 28th. Anyway, thank you, Professor Zakaria. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, so that's, that's it. So the January 6th date, unfortunately, there's a disappointment. Professor Ahmed Zakaria is the director of the National Ambulance Service, explaining why this development has happened.